Hi, I'm pastry chef Maria Kemp of Beyond Decadence and welcome to Mastering the Details, a video series to teach you tips and tricks to make you more successful in the kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to use measuring spoons or what they are and what, why you need to understand how to use them. They come in a variety of different sizes from 1 8 to 1 4 to half a teaspoon, tablespoon, um, and so forth. But I'll show you two common sizes today because I want you to understand the difference between the two. This is a teaspoon and it says one TSP on the side. Teaspoon is often abbreviated with a little, a lowercase t as in Tom. This is a tablespoon. It says one TSB. It's commonly abbreviated with a capital T. And you can see that there's a huge difference between these two sizes. That's why I want you to understand the difference between the two so you don't look at a recipe and think that it's simply a typo between a, a lowercase t and a capital T. No, it's not a typo and it makes a huge difference. So those are dry measuring spoons that you would use um, if a recipe called for that. For example, Maybe your recipe calls for a tablespoon of cocoa powder. So that means not this little guy, it means this big guy. So what I would do in order to measure it is I would just go ahead and dip it down into that cocoa and I would give it a little tap just to knock off the extra. And you could use a spoon, excuse me, a knife if you wanted to, like I showed you with measuring flour. But honestly, what I do a lot of times, just really quick and easy, is I just use the lid from the cocoa and that becomes my knife. And I use that and drag it across the top to take off the extra. And now I have one tablespoon of cocoa measured and leveled. So that's the difference between a teaspoon with a little T and a tablespoon with a capital T and how you can measure ingredients using that. Turn on your notifications and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you'll be notified when we post more videos of tips and tricks that will make you more successful in the kitchen. Until next time, see you soon.